Hey, what's up guys? This is Royam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Just two hours ago, we got our hands on another tweet from the official Minecraft Dungeons, and this one reveals even more information about the Echoing Void, the upcoming DLC which brings the end to Minecraft Dungeons. Guys, I am extremely excited to share it with you, so let's check it out together. Alright, so here we are once again on the official Minecraft Dungeons Twitter account. 251 tweets already. So of course this was the 251st and this one reveals some pretty cool stuff. With the end in sight, it's now or never to show your might, but some things are missing from the portal site. That will open the path to your ultimate fight. This one already teases the very first level, of course, for the Echo Void DLC. So guys, let's check it out together right now. All right, so guys, what do you think of this teaser? I think it looks pretty epic. I mean, it already tells quite something about the very first level, which we can expect to pop up of the Echoing Void DLC, where we pretty much have to repair the portal to the end. I'm gonna play it once again, and of course, pause it every now and then, so I'll be able to talk a little bit about what I think is gonna happen and what we can expect on the official release. So right here, the very first frame, we have if the way to the end you seek. You'll need six of something with which to peek. Of course, the eyes they're talking about right here. So it is a little riddle right here. And I really like this one. They're getting more and more creative with every single teaser they release. So I'm really happy about that. Defeat Endersent and you will free. So these are hybrid Endermen, pretty much big guys with very tall legs, deal a lot of damage probably, and are also hammering to get rid of those void blocks pretty much, or those portal blocks, but uh, they're probably gonna be a pretty big challenge to fight. I think they look pretty funky, but um, also very cool. And then the next frame right here, we also see what you need to use as a key. So this is going to be the Ender Eyes, of course, the Eye of Enders are used in the Stronghold to make that portal complete in the regular Minecraft, but I also sincerely hope that this Eye will also become an artifact in the game, so we will be able to teleport from A to B when we use or throw this one. One Savage, one Ravenous and one Blight. So I'm not really sure what they're saying right here, but uh, we did see different Endermen on that little teaser image from yesterday, pretty much the splash art for the Echoing Void. You have difference right there. So maybe the Savage is the guy that we use fighting right here. The Ravenous is probably the Coster. And then the Blight, which I talked about yesterday, might be the Enderman with um, the yellow or greenish backpack, which explodes, of course, on impact. You never know. But then, of course, on the next frame, you also see one Reaping, one Binding, and one Spiked. This can also mean um, the Runes, which you see at the very end of this video, but we're gonna get to that in a second. So right here, the character is also teleporting, which is pretty cool. Let's just do that again, guys. It's pretty difficult to see what's happening right here, but um, this can be the voice strike or something because you can already see that the zombie in the left right there is already dead. So maybe it is like an instant teleport, destroys the mobs. I think that's going to be a very cool enchantment. And otherwise, of course, would be very awesome to see the ender pearl popping up as artifacts. Survive the stronghold and place the ice. Obviously, this is gonna be the very first level of the Echoing Void DLC because um, you wanna get to the end, right? You're gonna have to use the portal to get there. So I think 
And I sincerely hope that there's gonna be more than three levels. So at least four, I'd say one level to go through a stronghold in Minecraft Dungeons, and then at least three for the end itself. Of course, we already saw those little teaser images yesterday on my breakdown video. Let's check them out one more time. So this first image, of course, you can see a yellow Enderman hitting the player. Then you also have the guys with uh, all the eyes covered all over the body and um, the Enderman golem pretty much with the bigger arms, probably gonna shoot some magic. By the way, guys, I'm breaking down all this information in a possible future, guys, a speculative video about my take on Minecraft 1.19, which might update the end. I'm going to upload this one tomorrow. It still takes quite some work, but, um, I am extremely excited about it. Let me know what you think about it as well. It's gonna be there very soon. Anyways, the second image which we saw also brings us to the end. Also a different biome right here for sure. We just have the end blocks of the island, so it doesn't bring us to the ruins or the fortresses or the end cities at all. So uh, that's definitely a second level. And then this is no doubt going to be the third and I also think the last level. So you fight in an end city or an end fortress, something like that. So you have three levels in the end and of course also one where you're going to activate the end portal. By the way, if you missed my 20 minute breakdown video about all these images yesterday, definitely make sure to check out the top right of the screen. I cover all the information right there. Anyways, back to the survive the stronghold and place the eyes. Right here, the character is also fighting with the new weapon and it actually did teleport right there, guys. Anyways, he's finding his way through the stronghold to get to the end portal. And of course, we can already see the Endermite in action. They're pretty small and cute mobs, but they can be a little bit annoying, guys. Repair the portal and the path will arise. So this is the very last frame and ends the video. And then we also see this little image, guys. So this is actually a rune in Minecraft Dungeons. Also enchanting with Minecraft also gives you these runes. So um, this might be a clue for something. It also stands for female. But guys, seriously, I think they definitely want to mean something with this. It's a pretty mysterious icon, which we see in the middle of our screen right now. They definitely did this on purpose. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. So guys, there you have it. What do you think of this teaser? I think it's pretty mysterious, especially if you look at the image, the icon pretty much at the very end. Let me know in the comments down below what this is gonna mean. I currently honestly have no clue what it means. It has to do something with enchantments. How many levels do you think there are gonna be? I think there's gonna be four at least. That would be really cool. Also with the, the Flames of the Nether DLC, we had six levels, so... um. Honestly, the more levels we will see, the higher the chances are this will also be translated to the regular Minecraft. Once again, a video which I'm going to cover tomorrow with all this information because uh, man, oh man, there is so much stuff popping up. I actually want to continue working on the server, but um, it simply doesn't allow me to. I mean, both Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, they're currently on fire, constantly updating their games, adding new content and teasers. So um, I am extremely busy these days. Anyways, big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. Of course, doesn't only help me, but all the other people who are looking for a video like this one. This video literally popped up while I was having dinner, so um, I had to boot up my PC once again for making a second video today. Also two videos yesterday, so I am having a very hard time. Mojang has zero chill, guys. They are literally on fire right now, but of course, that is very good news. Tomorrow, more information on both my 1.19 speculative breakdown video and of course also the announcement video for the SMP guys the 4am SMP server Minecraft 1.17.1 with 1.18 caves really looking forward to that one it's gonna release later this month anyways guys I love you right now I really have to go start editing this one I'll see you guys very soon take care peace